Now the next chapter which we were uh, we are about to you know discuss uh, is missover, missing values at the end of a record. The data values in the text C have the following variables: first name, last name, and place. So let me show you the six data set. So you can see that in this data set we have first name, last name and the place. This is exactly what it's talking about. Last name, first name and place. Uh, in some rows you can see that we have place and in some rows we don't. Bankad Naran and we don't have you know the location here. Surya Baird, we don't have the location but again here we have location. In some places we don't have even this last name. So this is how you know these, this data is designed. So by default we have uh, there is a missing data at the end of a row says does the following loads the next record to finish the observation or writes a note to the log right there are two things what says does because says looks for a data for every uh, variable right so if you do not mention anything it will put the next value into the next column I, I'll show you that how that works by default right now I have these values and let's say that if I store uh, them uh, let me take this query and I will say at the place of six fixed lines sixth okay here I'll change it to six and then I know I have the columns which are known as first of all first name it's a character, sorry, character, then dollar sign. Then we have last name. Again, it's character, it means dollar sign, not the at the rate. It should be dollar sign, okay? And last but not the least, I have place, P-L-A-C-E, -E, and again, dollar sign. So if I run this, let's see that what's going to happen. It created this data set for me okay and now if you look into this data you can see that Jacob, Matthew and Igmo you got the first record 100% correct but in case of second record I got Bankit then Narayan and then Surya which was the first name in the third record got entered into the place right so the due to the missing value here which was supposed to be the place for second record uh, we got the last set first name of third record into place column so what SAS did it just read the next value and keep on accommodating that into the next available uh, place so this is what SAS does by default right I know that there is a missing value in the record but SAS do not recognize that until unless we, we do not tell him or tell it so uh, now it has messed up with my data there is no use of this data now okay and it left this I don't know that where this value gone because I cannot see this in in the data set so to prevent such a situation to prevent such you know challenge what we are going to use is a word called miss over right this is what we are talking about that miss over uh, we need to tell the SAS there is a miss over option and the value which is missing we can you know keep it as missing the miss over option prevents SAS from loading a new record when the end of a current record is reached. Now general form of the in file statement with the miss over option is in file, raw data file and miss over. If SAS reaches the end of a row without finding values for all fields, variable without values are said to be missing. So I need not to do much with my uh, you know, code which I have written for it I just need to mention here miss over I have just written miss over and as soon as I will you know run this statement again you will see that Jacob Matthew Igmo then Bankard Naran missing value then Surya Bird then missing value I have got this complete record then Tarane and then we have two missing values so now I have got all the records as they were in there in the text file. So this is the way how can we use miss over into the SAS code. Now if you type the following code this 
So this is what I have already shown you that how can you know write it. So we just got the correct result, right? Now consecutive delimiters in the list. So you see in the last chapter we discussed a lot about the delimiters, whether what where to use DSD and where to use uh, DLM option. So now it's continuation with the same and let's see that what it's talking about that by default list input treats two or more consecutive delimiter as a single delimiter, right? And they and they are not treated as missing value. So when you will start working on SAS and you will you know come across such a situation, then you will get to know basically what this is talking about that if there are two or more consecutive delimiters, then the single, I mean they are treated as a single delimiter and they are not treated as a missing value. Okay. But the DSD option for the in file statement does what this does for you that it sets the default delimiter to comma number one default delimiter to comma number two treats consecutive delimiters as missing value and enables SAS to read the values from embedded delimiter if the value is surrounded by quotation marks. So syntax would be nothing same as in file DSD 